the final event on the track, the men's 4 by 400 meter relay. Always stronger, the USA in lane four, but you never discount Poland in five. And the British team line up in lane number two. So the French team start in lane number eight. You see PB of 258.96. That's the national record that's being represented there for these teams. Germany will start in lane number seven. Their national record, three minutes, 0.25. Three minutes, the magical barrier for world-class 4 by 400 meter relay running. Jamaica start in lane number six. Rasheed McDonald leading them off. Devon Baker due to bring the bat on home for the Jamaicans in lane six. The World Indoor Champions, Poland, start in lane number five. Such a history, such a tradition in the 4 by 400 metre relay. So well look, leading them off in lane number five. For the USA, well, they'll start in lane number four. Paul Dedewo in the squad, understandably so, the winner of the 400 metres. South Africa will start in lane number three. Under three minutes is their national record. Completing the lineup for Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Cameron Chalmers starts off the British team. So whoever finishes ahead out of Poland and Great Britain and Northern Ireland gets second place. USA start in lane number four. The final event on the track of this Athletics World Cup. On your mark. Great Britain and Northern Ireland, South Africa, the US of A, Poland, Jamaica, Germany and France. Starter asking them to hold. So the men's 4 by 400 well, metre relay, there's apparently an injury to the last leg runner of the British team. And therefore, oh. the last Smith, so leg runner, Owen Smith, picking up an injury. They've been withdrawn from this men's 4 by 400 metre final. Martin Rooney, the tall figure of Martin Rooney, applauding the crowd. There's Dwayne Cowan of the British team. So, disappointment for the crowd, the final event on the track, the men's 4 by 400 metre relay. An injury to the British last leg runner means they're out. Catherine, that's astonishing. Talk about an 11th hour withdrawal, the lead, lead off runner out on the track. I've never seen that in 28 years of commentating. On your mark. Men's 4 by 400 metre relay, South Africa, United States of America, Poland, Jamaica, Germany and France. Going to make a difference to the points. I can tell you now that Great Britain and Northern Ireland have gone out. They were third with 155 points, the same points as Poland. Check. So we get underway in this final track action. Disappointment for the British team and the British fans with that bizarre situation of being taken off the track last minute when they were in their blocks. But these teams won't be interested in that. Poland are going off well on their first leg. All athletes stay in the lane for the first lap of a four by four. France going well. And A on the outside in lane number eight. And Strother of the USA going well on the first leg for them in lane number four. So we'll keep it wide to see who hands over the baton first. America in a good position at the moment, the familiar bat on hold. And it is the USA who take over the baton first and lead in this final event. Well, Catherine, the USA squad is so strong. Therefore, listen to this, in the USA champs three weeks ago were first, second, fourth and fifth. 
This is a USA squad which should win this by a comfortable margin, although uh, the South Africans at the moment hanging on really, really strongly through this uh, second leg. Goodness me. Good running from uh, Peter Konradi. So, USA, South Africa, Poland in third, Germany in fourth, battling with France and Jamaica. So, the end of the second leg of this men's 4 by 400 meter relay, nice and strong out, Germany having a charge here. So, Paul Dedewo, the individual winner in the men's 400 meters on the third leg for the USA. Good tactics, this, by the American team. Because Dedewo is going to take the baton and bar disaster is going to stretch out the lead for the World Cup trophy winners here. The Americans leading, but look at the battle that's coming for second place, Tim. South Africa being tracked down by Poland and the others. Yes, that's Zakatin Nene of a South Africa in second who's trying desperately to stay ahead of the rest. I don't think he's got any chance of catching Paul Dedewo at the moment. That's a, a real a ringer. Fabulous athlete to be able to bring out on the third leg for the USA squad. Look at that gap, 20 metres back South Africa, but they've done well to stay clear. What, eight, mid, ten metres clear of the pack? And look at the battle on the left of your shot for the minor places. The final lap of the men's 4 by 400 metre, really. A 44-89 split there for Dedewo and the American team. This is what we're used to seeing in track and field. The Americans so dominant. The world record holders, of course, at this event. 254-29. So around the top bend for the final time. USA have the lead, but let's keep an eye on the second places. Points are up for grabs. None will be gained, of course, for the British team with the late withdrawal. But the Americans are gone. Kamadu Montgomery leads into the home straight. South Africa in second. Poland, Germany. But what a win and what a lead by the Americans. And a wonderful finish by Mokaleng of South Africa to pick up second. Poland will come in third. Sub three minutes, 259.77 seconds. Well, the USA led after day one and they're leading at the end of day two. They picked up the trophy a couple of events ago. But that's the cherry on top of the World Cup trophy cake. Yes, yeah, some consolation there for the American quartets after their uh, women's 4x100 squad are unable to finish just a few minutes ago. But the USA. first leg for the USA, 43.86 according to our computer. Although I've just been told 44.9 or actually by our stats man who's done a wonderful job these last couple of days, Mark Butler. 44.9 for the USA, 44.8, 44.7 and a relaxed 45.3 for the man bringing it home, Kamari Montgomery. And he is the US champion. I suspect he had another 15 metres in him had it been needed. Really impressive by the Americans, but uh, Battle Royal behind them, Kath, won by South Africa. Well, the selfie camera's handed over. Most of the sprinters, we don't mind a little bit of posing, a little bit of showing off. And the Americans there in a sub three minute 4x400 four metre relay, such is the depth that they always seem to have. Let's have a look. Look at that, Dediwo here, holding the baton high, making it clear and making it visual. The outgoing runner there, Montgomery, will be placed in position where his teammate is at the 200 metre line. He gets put in a spot. You're not allowed to move even if the positions change down the home straight. He's looking up at the scoreboard. Nice and easy for the Americans. And you know what, Catherine, sometimes when you see a winning performance like this, it distracts you from what's going on behind. There was a wonderful clash going on behind for the minor places. Germany finishing there in uh, second place, equaling their national record of 300.25. And that was a great effort from the Germans who finished down in, uh, what, fourth place eventually. So the stars and stripes of the US team have been dominant throughout the weekend here. The inaugural World Cup trophy, we knew was going to them. So, we're waiting on the final standings because there are a few issues with that men's 4x4 regarding the French team. Here you go, potential changeover infringement. You have a box in relay running and you have to pass the bat on, whether it's 4x1 or 4x4 within the exchange zone. Keep your eye on the French team at the top left of your shot. Well, 
are. The question is, was he even in the box when he took the bat on? There's a chance that he wasn't even in it at all. So we are waiting for the official confirmation on that 4x4. Four four. But of course, outside of the USA winning the World Cup trophy, there's lots of prize money up for grabs. $2 million, 450000 is already going to the American team. So we'll bring you confirmation of the final standings as soon as we have them. So, France DQ, South Africa DQ, and obviously we know Great Britain and Northern Ireland didn't start. So it's confirmed points lost for France and South Africa in that men's 4x4 relay, but the US of A, 2 minutes 59.78. The American team under the three minute barrier, picking up eight points for their team. And very shortly with those DQs out of that men's 4x400 meter relay, and of course points lost by the British team who are battling with Poland for a high-end finish in this World Cup trophy.